Hello everybody, I hope that you are doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I have another very special video for you all today where I'm going to be covering the actual range that I am trading right now on Bitcoin and then I'm also going to be going through the technical analysis here which has just once again been respected to the absolute dollar. I mean, if you love trading as much as I do, then this video is just like, it's bliss. It's just so, so nice. So sit back, relax, take some notes and enjoy this video because it's another good one. So going into it, yesterday's video, we were obviously looking at the chart uh, while it was here, we obviously had that monthly level above you and 9280 was an important support level. I was saying, uh, you know, I was checking things, for example, like the second le level order book. And, you know, there were signs that we were still going to push up for that for that next leg up. OK, that next wave to the upside. OK, and this is obviously what we were looking at in, in that sort of time. So let's zoom out and see how that OK, how that went. We can see how we got that secondary move to the upside as expected. And the level that we actually bounced off of was the monthly 9445. This is obviously the monthly, um, you know, that has been pretty influential. We've had this one and we've also had 9,339. OK, but this monthly, as you can see, is the, you know, the bigger one over the last, you know, really the last month and so. You can see how it was respected back on, you know, back on the 8th of July. And then we again had it respected again to basically the dollar, literally to the dollar yesterday. OK, so now we can, you know, now it's starting to come together really nicely where we can really see and understand this range that we're getting, aren't we? So we can clearly see that resistance, you know, no real surprise that we can see there's a, you know, a big resistance there at 9,445. That's our, our monthly level there. OK, and on the flip side, the support is not as easy to identify, but I'm, I'm telling you, I've, I've worked out it's 9,280. So we have 9,280 as the support, OK, and 9,445 as a resistance. As you can actually see, uh, the low that we made this morning was 9,290. So that 9,280 that I identified yesterday was, was respected on this drop by literally $10, OK? So I want to go through a few things of now what we're looking at in terms of trading, how we've got up to this stage and different, um, you know, so you can get into my head really how I was identifying these ranges and then, you know, more so how I was actually trading the ranges. OK, so all started back. It all started back, uh, you know, on the 15th. OK, so as you can remember, I covered this in a video, you know, must have been like, uh, you know, last week sometime when I was saying to you all, like I gave the thing to my group of how I was expecting Bitcoin to trade and not giving you know, two different ideas, but just saying this is how I expect Bitcoin to trade. And if you remember correctly, it was off of this idea. OK, so the move up to the CC down and then, you know, push push back th through it up to 9400 regions. OK, and this is what we mean by when a plan comes together. So that was obviously the <laughs> got there. That was obviously the original idea. OK, so this is the thing. Why was I thinking the push up, down and then up? Because I love I love Bitcoin to basically make the majority of people lose money because Bitcoin is just an asset that really goes against what the majority think. And so where many people are like, oh, this is really choppy. It's actually just technicals being respected on a low term time frame. And when you're a sculpt trader like me, like literally I could I could make money off of all day off of ten dollar moves like it, the move does not have to be big. And so there's, it's not choppy. It's just really technical on the lower term time frames. For, so for sculpt traders, especially this is nice trading. But my idea was the we had just lost our nine thousand two hundred level. I was expecting actually a pushback into the level into the CC to get everybody, you know, people that have shorted down here stopped out. Before then, everybody is then thinking at this point, OK, actually, that was the low. Let's go into the longs. And then they get stopped out as you drop down to around that 9000 level. And then once again, everybody is going to turn really bearish at that support. And then what do we do? We short squeeze. That was the prediction that I made. And again, I just gave one prediction, one thing that I thought was going to happen. And that's how it played out. We got the move up to the CC. We come down below 9,000, well, to the 9,000 region. It actually didn't come quite as low as I wanted, but nevertheless, we still got that low made at 9,030. As you know, was the naked point of control. So if we just remind ourselves here, that was the naked point of control to the dollar that it bounced off of. OK, so really, really, really technical in the end, that low. OK, and then we obviously got the short squeeze in the end yesterday more so. But obviously, then you can see that channel resistance, resistance, midpoint of the channel, come back into it, you know, squeeze up through it yesterday being the 21st of July. So from from that original prediction that I made, we can just see how that turned into that. I mean, that that's firstly really, really, really nice. And then it obviously brings us into the levels that we're talking about now. OK, so we had that, you know, this was I'll show you that old channel, by the way, so you can see that and we'll hide the local. So you can see that this was this was the point where we got that move up to the CC down and then back up. 
okay that's put back on the local that we have here okay so this is our local now trading channel okay and this is by local i actually mean more midterm time frame these are midterm time frame levels obviously our local channel is is literally what we got there 9282 9445 that's very very local this is midterm time frame okay but then that leads us on to uh, really what we were looking at yesterday. And uh, this was yesterday around 6, 6 p.m. I was still, you know, we were dropping down yesterday. OK, and I entered into a long position. And then I made it very, very, very clear that my next take profit will be at the CC. So just like my plan prior was to trade off of those CCs. They're just amazing. They literally are. And our next CC, as you can see here, was 9,397 to 9,402. OK, 937. $9,397. That was the, the next take profit, okay? And really clearly, ma I'm making my plan very obvious. I'm telling my team in, in advance that I've taken a compound on the long, and that's the next place that I'm looking to take profit on this trade. 9397. OK, as you can see, this was, uh, you know, that was posted yesterday. And then at 2 a.m. Uh, was actually when we come up and we, we hit we hit that, well, we hit that the first time at around 1 a.m. Well, we hear it three times really. Here about 12 a.m., then 1 a.m., then 2 p.m. <laughs> so plenty of time to to take profit on that one. But you can just see how that is amazingly well respected. Again, I'll do this Fibonacci pool so you can actually see. Okay, you can see. Okay, this is obviously on the BitMEX exchange, but nevertheless, that 9397 to 402, how that came up and resistance, resistance and resistance. And as you can see on this top wick, at this was at the 2.30 p.m., the high was 9,400 exactly. Okay, 9,400 exactly. So that was nice. <laughs> as you can see here, updating the team at basically 5 to 12, saying, okay, several hours, because that was about a five-hour wait, by the way. Five-hour wait is five hours later, but you know, it's the patience required. So I'm highlighting this to you because it's the patience required of actually firstly making a plan. OK, so making a plan in the first place. OK, when it drops down to support, I'm going to buy. It's then executing the plan and actually buy when it drops to support. And then it's the next level of identifying the level that you want to sell, which was 9397 to 402. And then it's when it actually comes out to that level, taking profits. So think how I've traded this. And this was my last post saying take profit finally hit. I can go to sleep. And <laughs> that's with the same. I did go to sleep. And um so firstly, when when it's dropping down here in this section, OK, my plan is to buy as we get the drop. So I'm executing as we buy. What are most people doing as it's dropping there? They're going to actually be panicking and selling. OK, and then you get the rise in price again to the exact level that I was waiting for, whereas 9,400 hit. OK, and then what's happening at this point? This is where I'm then taking profits on that long position, whereas majority of people are going to be thinking, right, here we go. That was the bottom. I'm going to now long. So it's kind of like you see how it's massively against what the market's thinking all the time. So it's prices dropping. I'm buying prices rising. I'm selling. OK, and then we got to the last update, which was this morning that I made. OK, and, you know, literally last night sold it to to the dollar high pretty much, which was a, an amazing take profit. And then this morning I just compounded it back on at nine thousand two hundred ninety eight. That was posted at nine a.m. We're now sat, at, you know, 20 past 11. So two hours ago, again, while it's dropping, while people are really, really scared to be buying down at this low, me, my plan is preset out. I already know what I'm going to be doing. I'm just waiting for the drop and then the reaction to actually get in. And now you can see we're sat at nine thousand three hundred and twenty seven dollars. So that's already $29 move. And if you're a scope trader like myself, if you're watching this as a scope trader, you'll know that a 20, you know, basically a $30 move is, is a is a really good scope trade. Those are those are really profitable trades that add up over the course of the day. Um, but that, that leaves you then to where you are now. OK, so let me explain this. Um, I wanted to go through those posts because, I mean, that that's insane trading. OK, literally how it started off offered a monthly like there, which was the monthly to the dollar. OK, then how we got that pullback, which was to the range point of control and then we how we got that move up to the cc and then well my, my lower one was 9280 as a really important support we hit 9290 compounded 9298 and now we sit 937 i mean yeah you gotta say i'm na nailing these moves pretty perfect uh so now you can see what we actually got a really nice downtrend channel at the moment OK, so we've got this kind of downtrend channel where you had the original resistance back into support, midpoint up to the highs, down to the lows. And you can see here how the midpoint was a sort of a support resistance level. You had the drop down through. But what I like about this is because we can also put this sideways range onto it at the same time. OK, and then you can see how you had the midpoint. OK, then coming back here, across into the midpoint sections, back into the top of your downtrend line, back into the 9280 region that I was really waiting for, seeing the, the, the long lower wick off of that compounding on the next drop. And now we're having that rise in price. 
Okay, we can obviously always be looking at this type of thing with our, um, oops, not not Spotify, <laughs> but obviously, <laughs> but obviously with our second layer order book. Okay, so what? How many people are buying? How many people are saying? Obviously. And you can be looking at these sort of statistics and data in the time, seeing, you know, the volume coming in and then, you know, you're basing your reactions basically off of the evidence that you're given on the shot. So we're always making informed decisions and uh, safe to say they're good decisions because we're making money off of these charts. So really, really nice. So that's kind of really uh, how we got to this section and the way that I'm trading, my, my plan is to maintain trading these channels. Okay. So for me to range as the channel. So, you know, that's, I've just shown you. I, I, well, I'm, you know, I'm in a long position. I'm, like, so I'm wanting to trade this up to high price. So this is obviously, we got this local downtrend channel, which is you bringing you resistance around nine three forty. Okay, so nine three forty is your next local level here. Obviously, nine four four five is still your resistance, and um, you know. We got the harmonic still underway, and the harmonic has a has a higher target than than nine thousand four hundred and forty five. By the way, but nevertheless. Uh, level to level step at a time to even start to think about these higher levels which I'm still after by the way we obviously now need to get back above each of these resistances on the way up to those higher levels so you know the way I trade this is step at a time really make a plan in advance you know I made my plan I laid my bed and then I put my money where my mouth is and, and trade the plans you know so that's that's how it's going at the moment and that's the technical analysis of uh you know how we got to that level yesterday you know to the dollars to the dollars to the dollars <laughs> and then coming down within ten dollars for the reaction it's just brilliant brilliant trading and honestly if you honestly love technical analysis and trading as much as me then this chart is is just it's just so nice um so yeah that's how we've been trading. I've explained the trades that I've gone through, the trades that I've now taken. Obviously, yeah, I'm in that long, so I'm expecting a bit higher prices. Where am I really wrong on this? Well, if we probably break down through that low, uh, then obviously I'll take a loss on that one and I'll, I'll close out. I'm in no, I'm not married to this long position. I will switch short with a, you know, a sign of strength. Uh, sorry, a sign of weakness. I always say that sometimes. I accidentally just say the wrong word while I'm making the video. But, you yeah, know, that's, uh, that's me. <laughs> um, so, yeah. I want to uh, wrap up this by reminding you all that we still do have the World Series of Trading, okay? This starts in seven days, 23 hours. So we're about a week away from the World Series of Trading. Let me remind you that that has a 200 in the end, 200 Bitcoin prize pool, okay? Uh, so this is the World Series of Trading over on the exchange by bit. Uh, we have entered this with chart champions and this is open obviously to everybody in the community. I will leave in the description down below if you want to enter the team and you know just by entering the team, depositing 0.1 Bitcoin, you're in you're in the team for that 200 Bitcoin prize pool that's shared between everybody, shared between everybody. So yeah, I'm really, really, really looking forward to this competition because we're going to absolutely smash it. Like, just absolutely sure that we're going to take home that prize pool. Uh, yeah, it's going to be amazing. And uh, obviously, for the final bit of news, uh, just a reminder that I will be live trading that Bitcoin 200 Bitcoin prize pool challenge. So, uh, you know, we're going to be taking home the millions here. And, uh, you know, I will be live trading this. And this is uh, really... A nice one because I'm going to be going through really obviously where my entry is, where my stop loss is and where my take profit is. And this is on a swing trade perspective. Uh, so if you want those easy details, <laughs> then, uh, you know, the champions, I'm going to be live trading that on the streams and really just making it very easy for you, uh, getting into my head and then literally giving you the trade. So that's going to be brilliant. I think, well, I already know so many people are absolutely loving and so excited for that, not just because they get to see exactly how I'm going to trade it, but also because we're going to be taking home 200 Bitcoin. Uh, so yeah, once again, if you want to join the team, then, uh, you know, the, the team's open for everybody, but obviously for the live trading and really giving you those trades on a plate, that's only for the champions, okay? So only the champions get the direct live stream access to my trades, but uh, for everybody else, um, you know, you can join the team and take a share of our winnings. <laughs> how kind are we to do that? So uh, yeah, that's that's uh, that's the update for today. That's how I'm trading Bitcoin at the moment. Really nice, lovely technical trades. And, um, you know, got to say i'm expecting high prices at the moment there's no reason for me to think so obviously if we start to break down from this range well then you know i'm wrong on my idea and i'll and i'll take a short to be honest i you know i'm not faced by taking a loss i'll take a loss but i'll react straight away and move on to the next trade uh but so far we're on a nice winning streak may that continue and um yeah looking forward to the to the trading so um yeah uh thank you everybody if you're interested in seeing those live trades obviously chartchampions.com into the into the uh champion section i'll be live trading it we'll be sharing the money and um <laughs> there you go also tr also trading altcoins today you could see some guy made 1.4 profit since yesterday since i posted the basic tension a token chart idea thanks chap. yeah 
what can I say? Handing money on a plate to people. Uh, basic attention token. Nice setup at the moment. I do like altcoins and uh, I'm going to wrap it up. It's uh, 14 minutes. Too long. Cheers, everybody. Thank you. Have a brilliant day. And yeah, enjoy, the, enjoy this trading because it's just perfectly, amazingly technical. Cheers, everybody. Thank you. Bye.